Kourou, 21st of August, 2014. At first, the Soyuz mission seems to go well. However, data analysis then shows that its two passengers are on a wrong orbit. Since then, the causes have been understood and Soyuz is back on duty. But for the Galileo satellites sent on an elliptic orbit instead of a circular one, solutions had to be found. The first tasks were in Darmstadt by the joint ESOC-CNES team in charge of the usual post-launch activities. The work turned into a rescue operation with crucial decisions to be taken right away. So they managed to recover the orbit in a uh, few hours and within the visibility of the tracking stations because I mean when you go to the next tracking station you lose basically satellite you have to know what is uh, the visibility from the next tracking station and this you do only if you have an orbit reconstructed. Once the satellites were secured they could be transferred to the supervision of the Galileo Control Center in Oberpfaffenhofen near Munich. Then the best maneuver strategy had to be chosen and the recovery scenarios defined. We um, developed together a maneuver strategy and then we execute, we execute them. A uh, number of maneuvers were performed. We are talking about 14 maneuvers per satellite and at the end of this campaign the satellite is flying in a circular orbit. Securing the birds in space was one thing, but at the same time, the ground segment overseeing all Galileo systems needed to be able to work with them. So it had to be sure that the operations in space were in line with the capabilities of the system on the ground. And the good news is now is that we've now recovered the satellites. Uh, so we've, we've taken it to where it was uh, even a a scenario which was well outside of its operational parameters and now we've moved it into a place where they can be used and can be salvaged. So in, in that, from that respect we've saved the mission. With all these maneuvers and reprogramming, the satellites are now operable on a corrected target orbit. This is already a great achievement because it is the first time that their type of OHB built satellites are in space. So it's essential to be able to test them for real. Now, since they work well, it might be possible to fulfill the actual goal of this launch, the navigation mission. We've done a number of studies at the beginning to see what would have been possible to reprofile this mission. It was our intention from the very beginning to recover the mission. So now we are in the process of discussion together with the European Commission what can be the operational usage of these satellites. At ESA, we are convinced that the satellites can be used. Different tests in ESA labs and at manufacturers have checked the capabilities of the satellites. Even if they are on a different orbit, they could now contribute to the overall Galileo constellation. I think uh, we've learned a lot more about the spacecraft design uh, for the FOC spacecraft, uh, how it behaves in real life in ways that wouldn't normally have been apparent if everything had gone perfectly smoothly. The two Galileo satellites we feared lost should be able to work jointly with their space companions and the building of the European navigation system can now continue.